Good morning, friends. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I want to give you a lot of energy in my vlogs, <laughs> but I think one of the good things or one of the reasons why I wanted to vlog is because you can be a little bit more yourself other than um, just sitting and doing a sit down video and putting on your poker face. I am getting ready to go to work today, just like every single day this week has been overwhelming. I have a to-do list, I have my planner, but when I tell you there are so many more things, I just needed maybe five more days added to this week and maybe four more hours to each day. <sighs> I probably would be in a better place so I'm just taking it literally day by day a couple of hours at a time and trying to get it all done this week um, it's like everything was scheduled in this week from meetings to unexpected things good and bad um, events for the weekend. Today is Friday and I'm trying to think from the top of my head what all is going on but um, it's homecoming for my daughter's school um, and she performs which is not stressful at all. There's a dance tonight immediately after the game. One of my dear friends, her daughter, is on court so she's more like a niece so you know all of that energy is going towards that we're wanting her to make homecoming queen and just supporting the mom um you know as she's nervous you know getting all of the last minute um, gown prep and stuff done um tomorrow my daughter's is it, my daughter is in an organization they have a dance and i'm one of the um the organizing moms there are designated moms with each co cohort of girls that's tomorrow and Sunday I have a party that I am styling and there are some custom things that go along with that which I've tried to do everything space it out and do different things each day you know I think that I just got a lot <laughs> I got a lot and then you know Monday it's back to work and I didn't even mention work 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 has picked up and there's a lot of moving pieces that are moving faster that I think we're prepared for so I don't know what kind of footage you're going to get I want it to be a day in the life but because so much is going on this weekend um, I need to remember to pick up the camera to take you with me um, if I can't bring the camera maybe I'll remember to do it on my phone but anyway I just want you to um, while you're watching this right now just say a prayer that Tish makes it through to Sunday successfully and um, I'm gonna take you along I know that everything will get done and it'll get done well and um, yeah so come along with me. This intro was super duper long, but I, I've i committed to share. Share what I can, and hopefully if you're in the same predicament being a busy working mom who is involved in um, extracurricular things with your children or your nieces, nephews, or your, you know, or the people you work with, I hope that um, <laughs> we can build this community together. And we'll get done just bit by bit. All right, I'm gonna go into the office for a couple of hours today and um, get ready for the rest of the day. Is this not the cutest? This is a chip bag. I am planning a superhero party and this is going to be on the treat table and there's a bunch of other treats that um, I'm providing and then um, the little boy's godparent and then there's a a juice pouch um, 
when I add the stickers, I then have to tape the straw back on there. But I thought that was so cute, how it turned out. I designed these this week and just printed everything out last night. So you see here, I have to cut the other things out. One more other thing that I wanna show you. Now they're stacked on top of one another, but this is a pumpkin stem that I made. Come on, pumpkin stem. I made that and I saw this fabric and I wanted to make pumpkins to add for decor. And these two were my very first. So as soon as things settle down for me, I want to um, make a few of these. I painted the the makeshift stem last night to see if I like the goal by itself. And y'all, I love the direction. So now that I know how I need to stuff these, how I need to shape the clay to make the stem, I'm so excited to have just a little bit of downtime so that I can add these to my decor. But this is, let me take that off. This is one size, but I need to um, just tweak it a little bit so that it's more round instead of flat. Still gonna use it or I'm gonna gift it to someone. And then this was the larger one. I was wanting it to be kind of large so that I could have the stem and possibly set it up on one of our um, sitting chairs. I don't know. Okay, y'all, I gotta get out of here, but I'm getting distracted now and wanting to share all the things with you. It's a gloomy kind of day. I thought for sure we would have a lot of sunshine. Well, not a lot, but I didn't think that rain was gonna be in the forecast um, earlier in the week. It was a very small percentage, but today, things are looking quite different. Um, I lost my lipstick in the back. I did put on lipstick this morning, but my husband left breakfast and I'm looking over at my air control. I ate my lipstick off and I don't have lipstick that is like 12 hour wear, wear three days and you're good. <laughs> I don't have that. My lipstick is under $10. Some of it is under eight, I'm trying to think. So I usually just reapply and throughout the day without the masks, uh, well with the mask, I'm not usually concerned about lipstick. I'm tucked away in my office and as long as I have a lip balm, I'm good. And if I'm going to have my mask off for an extended period of time, yeah, I want a little tint on my lip. I did away with my iced coffee and um, if you have seen my other vlogs, I've been on a hunt for um, stockpiling my iced coffee. Well, I stumbled upon about three bottles, just different locations, not all from one location. And then I decide after I have all the coffee that I'll need for oh, two weeks, two or three weeks, I decide that I want to do low sugar, low carb. So I skipped iced coffee today and I went with water. And I am going to have to use that coffee. So I am going to look for a low sugar, low to no sugar creamer. And I don't know what International Delight is. I've never, I just wanted to make sure that it did not have um, milk in it. So I know there's some low to no sugar creamers so that I can still enjoy my coffee in the morning. But yeah, I'm gonna try the low carb. I don't wanna say diet because I think if, when I say diet, I think it's going, something needs to happen from this time to this time and it needs to be measurable results. So I, I don't wanna say diet, but more so, let me see if this, 
if I can add this to my, my lifestyle and get accustomed to not enjoying the yummy goodness of carbs. Carbs are like, I feel like they're God given. I do. Which, carbs are good if we, you know, do good with, with them and be wise, but who wants to eat one chip? Who doesn't want to have rice <laughs> or pasta with a bunch of stuff on it and, oh. Let's not even talk about bread. Bread. Yeast rolls. Why? Maybe, maybe we just don't need to call them. They, they're not carb enriched foods. Let's take the word carb off of it because I love a good yeast roll. All right, y'all. I'm, I'm rambling. Because I know as soon as I get out of my car, the whirlwind begins. So, I will see you uh, later on today. I hope that you're having a great day. And I will um, hope to chat with you down in the comment area. Bye. Okay, I am home from work and it's time for a snack. I don't want to eat anything heavy. I really don't like bananas, but that's what I'm going to nibble on. I want to take a gift to my friend's daughter that I mentioned was on homecoming court. And I'm so sorry for eating with food in my mouth and talking to you. Um, me and a few other friends or another friend were talking about, you know, um, a gift and we didn't want to do flowers just in case, you know, the school already gives the girls flowers and, um, yeah, what could, what is a good gift for a girl that's on homecoming court and possibly the next homecoming queen? So what I did, I went to get a frame and on here is little diamonds. I think that's glamorous for a queen or someone on court. And I am using my silhouette and I'm going to put her name at the top, homecoming court at the bottom and then 2021. I hope it's not confused with night uh 2020 2021 but either way i don't know i have time to figure that that part out and then i have i have this cute little crown that i wanted to put on here and i also already had this one that i can put in there and possibly she can wear this tonight on the football field with her suit if it doesn't clash. So I'm going to whip up these letters. Hopefully I'll have enough time to wrap some of the party favors for my party on Sunday. And I'm gonna to head to the school for the assembly to see my sweet daughter dance during the assembly and my daughter's, uh, my friend's daughter who we affectionately call our niece so kind of excited and nervous but i don't want my stomach growling so i'm going to eat a snack get this done and i'll show you the finished product